Baby. <laughs> Come on, I can pull. <laughs> He's coming. Oh, my balls. He was pulling the whole boat. All right, here's the rods I'm going to be using today. These are both rods from Toadfish Outfitters. This is the Battle 2, and this is the Battle Pen Fierce, the Fierce 4000. Both of them have 20 pound braid on them, blue braid, yellow braid, have about three feet of 30 pound mono. Going to a loop knot on this weighted jig head, which I will be using live shrimp with. This jig head's a little bit bigger than the other one. The other one I'm running is a little bit of a smaller hook. The mono to the braid, I am using the double double uni knot to tie my braid to my mono. I'm waiting for Tyler to pick me up and then we're gonna head over to Chris's house and we are gonna take Chris's boat out of the Fort Pierce Inlet. Actually, we're not gonna go out of the inlet. We're gonna stay in the inlet because it is a little windy. So I think the ocean is gonna be rough. So we're gonna stay in the inlet and kind of on the inside areas around the inlet, probably some docks and stuff around the Fort Pierce Inlet. Tyler and I are about to scoop up some live shrimp and then we're gonna use live shrimp on the weighted hooks. And I think Chris is gonna be using some jigs and casting those suckers and I'm going to be using live shrimp and I'm not sure what Tyler plans on using while we're out there. I'm already bleeding in the day. Fishing day hasn't even begun. Well, 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 look who showed up. Let's rock and roll, baby. I, I just to let you know, we're listening to indie music right now. All right. That's cool. Hey, Tyler, I got a question. Are we going to catch fish on a, on a mullet, on a live mullet, on a live shrimp, or an artificial? What do you think is going to kill it today? I'm thinking six fish on live mullet, 20 fish on live shrimp, and maybe like four fish on artificial. Dang! Kinda, Those are some specific yeah, numbers. Well, well, I'm trying to like keep it a little low. Yeah. That way, you know, if we don't catch it, more is better. More is better. <laughs> we we getting some ice and some birds. Oh, you got the bubbler. Damn, what's she doing with that? <laughs> no. I'm cutting a hole for our bubbler. MacGyver. Um, where did I just put that? Right here. Put it in there. That goes there. And then we'll take the styrofoam, we'll put that guy right in there. Beautiful. Alright. Hey, do you guys have a bathroom? Oh, you saw the one? I saw it. No, one of the shrimps stuck into the styrofoam. Oh, yeah. Yeah. His, head first. He's stuck, his, stuck in there. He's stuck in the styrofoam. Yo, hey, we're literally coming down Seaway Drive right now. <laughs> so, Chris, what do you want to catch today? I want to catch some snook. Hopefully there's some good mullet around. If we catch some live bait, we'll definitely catch some snook. Yeah, we might um, be able to get a snook on some shrimp, maybe. Yeah, that would be nice. Uh, and you got shrimp, so probably some sheep's head if we put a little weight to it. Woo-hoo! And then I brought the TLD-20, so we might get, if we get like a bluefish or like a catfish or something. Jack or something. Jack, nice size jack. We'll just hook it and drop it down in there. And, Let's see what we can get. Get a big old, big old grouper. Yeah. Grouper. Grouper. <laughs> it's looking like a real nice day, though. <whistles> Dang! Look at that.
Yeah, what up? <laughs> I forgot. I forgot like everything in the car. I suck. Can't forget the cast net. I just, I have this feeling this is gonna be a catch and cook. I feel it. I feel it deep down inside. Maybe the bugs will go away eventually. Oh, I'm on, dude! <laughs> oh, what was what's up with that? I lost my shrimp. <laughs> that was like that was like first five seconds of the first cast. Hey, hey, wait, wait, wait. Do this. Yeah, show like, me. Pinch off this. Tail. Okay. Pinch the tail off. Go up from the tail. Uh huh. And feed it on there like a. Uh, Okay, interesting. Whoa! Look at that shit. Dude, that was a, uh, that looked like a pompano. What is that, bug spray? Um, yeah, I'll take a little bug spray. Let me hit your legs for you. Yeah. Nice. Perfect. Hey, not no swanny, man, all right? You guys got chip me in quarters and stick them in my ear. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Maybe this like just a little bit. They probably don't need that many sprays, but oh, that's good. I'll rub it in. Oh, dude, your cast net broke. Oh my gosh, it did break. Okay. Cast net broke. Wait, 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 wait. I see it. I see the tip of it. Yeah, let's not lose sight of that. Pump, pump us a little. I'm, I'm just leaving the the weight on it so we don't lose. Track. <laughs> I hope we don't lose this net. It's like straight down there. How deep is it? Dude, I can't touch Oh, here it is. It's right here. Look, there's the rope. Got it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no bait. That must be some real shitty rope to just break like that. Well, it's just old rope, you know? Yeah, old rope. I'm getting whacked. I'm getting whacked real good. They bit its head off. What sick creatures. Yeah, it's a good looking, good looking sky. A plus sunshine. Look at these two. They are doing pretty well in there. Yeah, I just want to add more water. Slowly. Watch out, piling! You just scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Yo, look at the fire torches at this house going on. Oh Damn, shit, bro, how man, sick is I want that? A of that? That's pretty baller. Is that not the biggest shit you've ever seen in your life? Dude, that is the biggest shit I've ever seen. Yo, that's like offshore quality. You'd catch a stud dolphin on that. All right, well, let's get it flowing. One bait. I'm gonna keep tossing my shrimp. Oh. Guys, that's a shad. Is that a uh, world Dang, record? Look at that. Yeah, look at that. Uh, Holy crap. Man. I have never in my life. He looks like a jack. Yeah. Okay. All right, yeah, we're gonna stay here really quickly, Chris, just to catch Oh, no, yeah, for sure. Okay. <laughs> Let's get some more bait. Hello. Oh, I start throwing in the damn live oh, wheel. Man. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta get this guy. I hate to say it, I think I did it again. Oh. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> yeah, baby. Dude, that's where they're all hiding. Right on the side hey, of the... Hey, gotta... All right, guys, we are... Uh... What's in your live well? <laughs> Keep the live well nice and on. <laughs> One cast off the side of the boat. Oh my god. Yeah, it's buck wild right now. We just officially blacked out the live well. Bye. <laughs> We're fucking, look at that, dude. Dude, you could take that offshore tomorrow. You'd be catching kingfish and dolphin all day on those things. Is that a big blue fish? Big blue fish. Blue fish. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, you could. Oh, that. Stop. Hey, what's Look at him. That was alive. Yeah, my weight is. That was on a live shad, right? Big live shad. Dang. Yo, let's load up on these because I want to throw them in the smoker. Look, look what he did, dude. He almost broke me off too. <laughs> If we're gonna eat him, we should bleed him. But if done. <laughs> well, he's done. Hey, good night. <laughs> good night. <laughs> I got a shrimp going out. What's going on over there, Chris? You're acting pretty tense. Is there a fish on, dude? <laughs> he's coming up. I got him. Make sure this sucker dude. goes in the boat. Oh my god! What is this? You got this, dude. You got this. <gasps> Is that a uh, jack? Dude, that's a big jack. He had to be rocking or something. Get him in there, dude. Get him. That's that's bait, dude. That's Woo! that's good bait. Dude, get him in. Oh, that dude. What? Wait, let me oh, see man. them. Let me see oh, them bites. No, dude, we're gonna. We're he got gonna bit on the way in. Now the one bites the dust. <laughs> I'm on. It's a blue fish and you've got like two or three of them running like That's right the boat. Right Dude, the boat. He's, he's, he's a fun little fight. This guy is a fun fight. Dude, I'm having such a blast right now. Yeah, you want Chris? <laughs> I got him. <laughs> yes! Oh yeah, dude. I'm I'm gonna eat this guy. Bleed him. Uh, rip his gill out. Yeah. Bleed him out. Look at him. He's bleeding real nice. I'm gonna put him in the smoker. I'm bulldogging this. Oh oh oh! I'm on. I'm on. <laughs> Are you kidding? Yeah, I'm getting oh. there. Yeah. Oh, here he goes. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh, mine came off. No, I'm on. I'm on. <laughs> oh oh, off. I'm off. Dude, this is so fun. They're on to me, Chris. <laughs> is that a ladyfish or a tarpon? Yeah, no, oh no. Ladyfish, oh wow. A big ladyfish, yeah. They're really big ladies. Alright. That's good cut bait and stuff too. So get in the live box. You gotta hit the jack, the jack off button. Look, I'll show you right here. If what? you grab a jack just by the gills, right there, I promise you, he will not move. Even like shake the hook out, he will not move. <laughs> hit him in the gills right there. That's the jack off button. <laughs> All right, now watch. Now I'm, I'm gonna show you. Now I'm gonna get into his gills. Let it go, and then he's gonna start flailing around. All right, but see how his fins are moving. He's, he's grunting. He's and see how, now. See how he's like using his mouth. Even now, as soon as you get him, no more grunting, no more fin flicking, no more of this moving, no more tail movement. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> that Jack got the last splash in. He got the last laugh and the last, the last splash. The last laughing splash. Look, is that a good bait? Yeah, it's a great <laughs> bait. I am on, baby. I, got it, I, got it. I don't know. What is, is that a catfish? 
<laughs> I gotta go home. <laughs> Dang it. I go, you can't just be like catching catfish for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought we wanted to use it for bait. Is that a blue fish? Yeah. Good All right, on. get them on up here on deck. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Dude, they are running right now, man. Look, almost same thing with bluefish. Right there. Look, boom, off switch. Turns them right off. Nice. What is jack. it? Jack. Not even a big jack, just on this pole, it just seems like a big jack. You on the toad fish around there? Oh. Oh, it's a big sail cat. Whoa. Oh, Look at the hey, big look at sail that. cat, dude. Dang, that is a huge... Look, he's got a, he's got a, it's got a mate with him. Dude, I would fry that sucker up right, right there. Let's go. Here, he's yours. Look, saw it? Yeah, that's his, that's his mate. Mm. Yes, fried sail cat. Hey, go, you got a fillet on these fish. You do realize that, right? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> He's good size too. Yeah, he put up a good little fight too. He's like a mini shark. That's kind of what he looked like when he came in. Good size. So, God, this is crazy. Oh, my back of my fingers are in his crushers. That was uh, not even 10 seconds with a shrimp on a jig head. Let him live. Yeah, it's nice. You're right. Yeah. Get him out of here. We'll keep this a bluefish. Bluefish cook. I'm coming over when you do that smoker. A little Grover. Little baby. He's back in. Big, is that a catfish? Big sail cat. Catfish. No. <laughs> no. Pico, you want to hook him? No, no. Yeah, your fish is hanging out of its mouth. What do we got there, Chris? Catfish. Another one? Is it a big one? Yeah. Oh. He at least is hooked. Kind of close to his mouth. Come on, Chris. Let me see this. Hook. He'll be all right. He'll be kicking down there, here and there. Yeah, he he's good. He'll be kicking. I'm giving him line right now, but he's kind of swimming with it. Oh, oh yeah, he's on, he's on, he's on! Oh, I'd let go! Dang it! How you go? Yeah, this is going down. This is the spot right here. Is there still a bait on it? Sorry, I'm nervous. How you go, still a bait on? Yeah. Oh, there we go! Oh, what the let him eat it, dude! I, I, I no, like, he's, no, like, no, let him like eat it and take it. Alright, it's got Yeah, it. we're good. Yeah, keep going. Is he taking it? That's him? Yeah, that's him taking it. Dude. Dude. <laughs> you probably said it now. Okay. There we go. I love that guy. You need to sit. <laughs> I would put, I would put the... I would put the base in your, put the base of the rod in your crotch. Yeah. Do you feel it tensing back? Oh, you're on. Dude. Oh shit. Yeah. Sit. Get down. Hopefully he didn't rock you. No, he's, he's out. Oh yeah, baby. Dude. Oh, I'm hitting my guy in. Oh, baby. <laughs> Come on, I can pull him. Baby, you got him. Dude. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's coming. Oh, my balls. <laughs> oh, he was yeah. pulling the whole boat. Oh. There you go. Oh, crap, dude. Holy crap. 
Come on, I go. Alright. It's like. Come on, don't let him rock you. I'm not letting him do anything. But he's not letting me. Get him up. He's not letting me Get do Get him up. Either. Come on. Don't break the rod. Nice and easy. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Woo. You want to switch out, Heiko? I'll take over. <laughs> I feel I, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's shaking. Come on, don't, don't, don't. There you go. He's moving, he's moving, he's moving. He's pulling him up. Yeah, real, 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 real. Come on. You're getting him out of whatever. You got him, Heiko. Come on. Show us what that personal trainer has been doing for you. Oh, what? Oh. No. Dude, what a battle, though. Oh. oh, what a battle, though. Yeah, that was... Dude, he... he was... Holy crap. And he spit it out. Look at that bait is torn up. Dude, all right, here. Let me get him. I'm going to rehook him in a different way. Wow. Hi, guy. How are you feeling, man? Look at that. Look how scaled that thing is. Oh. Dude, that was <laughs> such a big group. <laughs> That was such a big Oh my thing. god. We should we could probably toss him right up. back down there. Oh, yeah, yeah, let me get the knife. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut him a couple times. Yeah. Round two. I'm up next. <laughs> nice, dude. Yeah, that was sick. Look, he was totally swallowed. Yeah, completely. Look, every scale. It's all screwed yeah. up. Dang man. Look, those are teeth marks from a grouper. You know it's a big grouper when he's leaving holes, dude. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh god. Oh well that didn't last very long. So like a circle hook points backwards. So put it. Yeah, we are slicing up a little bit. There we go. You on Chris? I don't know yet. You sure about that? It looks like something's thumping it. I know, dude. Get the net, somebody. Front. Were you, you had a weight on the bottom, right? Yeah, look. He's got me rocked up. I'm just going to straight look. There he goes. Look. He's going. He's got it. Should I lock it up, I guess? Uh, yeah. Yeah, lock it up. Let's we'll start reeling. What happened there? There's no way. He might have dropped it. I need to, I need, I might have taken a little too much time. I think he came back for it. Yeah, he's, it looks like he's got it. He's swimming with it. Yeah, you got footage? Yeah, you're good. I know, man, I'm trying, I'm trying. As soon as I can push up. You're good. Oh yeah. Holy fuck. Oh, ah, ah. I'm, oh my god. Alright, I'm done, done, done. Oh my god. Holy shit. Bro, bro, he's going underneath. He's going! Is he going for the anchor? There's some kind of hole that they always come come out here for. What's the situation? He got me. Oh, oh he's out. Yes. Right, I'm gonna throw this in a little bit. Uh, uh, How do I turn the boat on? I don't know. If, uh, 
Keep reeling, Chris. Man, Bring him up. Trying, man. Because you had him. You Look, had him. he's out. He's out. He's out again. <sighs> yep. There you go, dude. You got him back. You got him back, dude. He's coming. He's not. Um, he's so, done. Yeah, uh, yeah, where Gloves? were you? Gloves? Gloves. Underneath. All the way underneath. This. He's we got him. Again. No, he's oh. cool. Hey, he's, he's good. <laughs> oh, he broke the oh. Oh. He broke the fucking line. No way. Dude, he broke the mother fucking. Yeah. You good? Build up. How's that, Chris? I'm tired. <laughs> Dude, I'm so tired. That's how you get dogged out real quick. Is that a clean line? Went into like three different holes. <laughs> yeah. Got him out of three different holes. <laughs> Dude, that is some frame. Wow, uh, dude. He broke it straight, clean. Thick fray, damn. Holy shit. I'm <laughs> sorry for the language, kids. <laughs> that was one hell of a fight. <laughs> oh. Dude, that was like... Truck has no heat. Oh. Blue smoked bluefish pate. Is it pate or pat pate? Pate. 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 All right. Well, we are back at the kitchen. I have the bluefish right here. There's one. Put them here on the cutting board, and we're gonna make some smoked bluefish pate. Over here, I have the brine going, and basically all I did was boil some water, sugar, salt, molasses, honey, and then some spice rubs. So that brine is now cooling down. I had it boiling for a few minutes, and what I'm gonna do is, once I have the fish fillets done, I'm gonna put it in one of these bins, I'm going to let it brine overnight. Also, since I'm firing up the smoker, I don't want to do it for just three bluefish. So I also got a nice Boston butt roast, some pork, and I got a whole chicken that I'm going to cut in half. And I'll also be putting those in their own bins with brine. So those will also be brining overnight. And we'll have a full on trio going in the smoker. Some people say don't smoke your chicken with your pork with your fish, but a lot of other people say it really doesn't matter and I've done it a few times and I couldn't, I couldn't tell a difference. So I think it, it's totally fine to do that despite what some people might tell you. So let's see how quickly I can fillet this fish. We did bleed these fish out. And these fish are much easier to flay since they have been in the fridge overnight. There you go, one filet. I'll cut the ribs out of these. This is the ribs, so you have all your ribs in here. If you really wanted to, you could save this and eat it, but I'm gonna save this for chum. And then, we'll just run the knife right down the back. And there you go. So, 
you'll notice there's this red meat here. Bluefish are a more oily fish and have a little bit of a fish taste. So if you want, you can um, try to remove some of this red meat. I'll just do a real simple cut. So, I got a majority of it off. There we go. There you have it. That's one bluefish fillet ready for the smoker. I'm gonna rinse it off in some water. There we have it, a nice clean fillet, and I will throw that here in this, in there. And I'll be throwing all the fillets in there, and then uh, once the brine is cooled down, I'll pour that on top. And that's pretty much where it goes from there. I just gotta fillet the other side of this fish. Pretty much the same process. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 oh, yeah, baby. It's the next morning and I like to wake up early to start smoking fish because smoking meats can sometimes take a while and I don't want to have everybody eating dinner super late at night. So it is, oh my god, it's nine o'clock. How did I sleep in this late? Oh. 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 <clears throat> There's my smoker box. I'm going to fill it with some mesquite chunks and some hickory. <clears throat> Two mesquite chunks should be plenty. Those are big chunks. Got the water, which goes right. Put this sucker real hot until it starts smoking. Gonna wait till it starts smoking and then we'll put the meat in. 
All right, it's been about an hour, almost an hour and a half, and you can see it's smoking already. Not too much smoke, but I'll put the meat in here in about five or 10 minutes. Also, before I stick the meat in, I'm gonna lower the temperature from 275 down to 220. The only reason I had it at 275 is because I like to make it really hot in the beginning to speed up the process of getting the wood to start smoking. And uh, yeah, we're pretty much ready now to stick the meat in. It's like playing Legos trying to get these to fit on here. There we go. Ooh, that's hot. I want to put this on the very bottom. I'm going to be letting that meat, meat smoke for about probably one or two hours. For the pork butt and for the chicken, once that reaches about 180 degrees internal, I'm going to wrap it up in some foil, add some applesauce, add some barbecue sauce, and then that's going to slow cook for probably another four or five hours. Once the meat I think reaches like 170 or 180 degrees it doesn't really absorb the smoke flavor anymore so at that point that's why I wrap it up in foil so it cooks in the foil and keeps all that moisture in there and that's how you get that pull apart pull apart pork experience the fish is gonna be done probably in two hours three hours max the fish will go fast the chicken and the pork is gonna be a little bit longer All right, the fish has been smoking for two hours. I'm gonna take it out and take a look at it, see if it's ready. This thing's really pumping smoke now. It's a little hot. I'd say it could use another 30 minutes maybe quick little beer break and uh, I think we're gonna hop in the pool yeah it only seems right it's only right in Florida <laughs> the smoker is going hard I they look ready to me yeah those look quite ready to me it's nice and moist it's all cooked. Only took about two hours. Boom, baby. Come on, Chris, jump on in. Uh, jump on in. I mean, since you're recording me now, I have to, right? Yes, you have to. You might as well. I'm just going to stand here in the Bro, smoke. It's cold. I hate cold. Are you going to jump in? Chris, me? anyone watching this is going to see bright blue skies, crystal <laughs> clear water. They're like, what are you talking about? In it's cold. In actuality, here in Florida, it's only 62 degrees. Yeah, which is like, which is like a cold, like, we might as well be in the Antarctic if you're from Florida. <sighs> Alright, here we go. Woo! Oh, it's cold. My turn. Everything's better when it's wet.
Cheers to that. Mm. What we're gonna do is take the meat out, put some barbecue sauce on it, and wrap it up. And some apple juice. Lots and lots of apple juice. Woo -wee! Barbecue sauce. Kind of just cover it in that. Also, going to cover it in a bit of apple juice right here. Just a little bit. Lather that on there real nice. Now that is a treat. Another three hours on that and we're in the zone, baby. That is some primo quality meat. Got the pork butt up top. Now I'm gonna wrap these chickens in some foil. One of them I'm gonna give some Carolina Tangy Gold barbecue sauce. And the other is some barbecue. Lather that on up in there. Slide those two pieces in there. And then, yeah, close it on up and we'll cook it for another yeah, probably another three hours, and, and that'll be like fall off the bone quality, quality chicken and pork. He's making his way. He's going pretty quick for a turtle. Just enjoying some apple juice and some kombucha. It's yummy. <laughs> you gonna make some fish dip on your... Uh... When you get home. Yeah, man. I'm going to use your recipe of um, mayonnaise and cream cheese and throw some salt and pepper in there. Maybe some scallions. Ooh, that sounds good. It's going to be yummy. Take it out and wrap it up for about a half an hour. Just like that. Ooh, loady load. Work butt. Oh snap. Dun dun dun. The chicken is straight up falling apart. Mm-hmm. Juicy. Oh my, my hair. Mm. I probably should have took care of this hairdo before this video. But I just want to give a big thanks for watching. We ate a lot of that food and then we put it in the fridge and the next day we actually, we took some of that pork back out and put it in some mushroom gravy and ate it with some dumplings. And it made a really good second dinner. You might be thinking why put all the meats in the smoker at the same time, don't they drip on each other? And they do. But I honestly, I don't mind the flavor and I don't think it affects the flavor as long as you put the fish under the meats because the meat dripping on the fish, I think it actually makes the fish taste better, if anything. But obviously if the fish is dripping on your pork and your chicken, that's a little weird because fish has a much stronger taste. I also wanted to give one quick reminder, if there's anybody that's interested in crypto trading, my brother has his crypto course. He's been doing very well with crypto and making our company some really good extra funds. I like to call it beer money, but it's actually way more than just beer money. So if you are interested in crypto, hit me up about that. Shoot me an email at heiko at southfloridafishingchannel.com and uh, just email me whatever questions you might have about crypto trading and I can get back to you and I can maybe uh, explain a little bit. Tomorrow I'm going to release the actual recipe I used for the smoked bluefish pate. 
and I'll be releasing that video probably here in the next day or two. Keep a lookout for that. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the South Florida Fishing Channel. My name's Heiko and thank you for watching. Thank you.